zero two three five plus point zero zero one five which is about point one six or about sixteen percent so we got so we've got about sixteen percent of women would have a wrist circumference greater than five point three nine eight inches okay Again, you can kind of think of where this would be useful if you had a company that was manufacturing bracelets. They probably would, you know, have to think about, okay, well, only about 16% of our women customers are going to be above this value. So maybe I don't want to make too many bracelets that have, that are greater than 5.398. That's kind of how, how this works. Um, what about um, two typical values, uh, two values that typical wrist circumference is falling between? Now, if you remember when we studied uh, normal data, typical values are within one standard deviation from the mean. So a z-score between one and negative one. So if you look at the z-score, negative one, z-score of one, if you notice, these are the wrist circumferences that go with that. These would be your typical value boundaries. So typical values would be in between, uh, looks like 4.736 inches and um, uh, 5.398 inches. Right? Those would be the one standard deviation below to one standard deviation above. And notice what percentage is typical. Again, if we look in between, we see that that's two sections of 0.34, which adds up to 0.68, or the famous one, right, 68%. Okay? Um, what is the high outlier cutoff? Now, we learned when we were studying normal data, the high outlier cutoff was two standard deviations uh, from the mean, or above the mean. So that would be a z-score of 2. So if you look at the z-score of 2, it's right here. And again, we see that that value, the wrist circumference that goes with that is 5.729 inches. So 5.729 inches would be the unusual high cutoff if I was analyzing this data. Notice what percentage is unusually high? Well, again, we're looking for anything above two standard deviations above, right? We're looking for all of those two sections that are above 5.729 or a z-score of 2. We have 0 0.0235 and 0, 0.0. So if I did 0 0.0235 plus 0 0.0015, I'd get 0 0.025 or 2.5%, right? Didn't we say when we studied normal data that about the top 2.5% are unusually high? What about the unusual low cutoff? Remember, that was two standard deviations below the mean, or a z-score of negative 2. So for that, that, that answer is going to be 4.405. We can see on the chart over here. Right? And notice again how what percentage would be unusually low, lower than the low cutoff. Right? There's two sections again. So this one's also going to be 2.5%. It's going to be the bottom 2.5%. Okay, what about, what's the wrist circumference that 84% of women are greater than? Okay, this is going to be a little tricky now. So, again, less than, think left tail, greater than, think right tail. Okay, so in this case, um, we're looking for 84% is greater than, so the right tailed percentage has to be greater than, it has to be 84%. Well, if you add these up, so if you add these ones as 16%, plus 34.34 would be 50%, plus another 0.34 would be 84%. In other words, the top five sections add up to 84%. So again, we're thinking right tail, because it was greater than, and we're looking for, again, the top, basically the top five sections add up to 84%. So, what would be the answer? What's the wrist circumference that's sort of the cutoff for that? Well, again, we're looking for these five sections, and what's, a, what's the cutoff for those five sections? It would be this one, the mean minus one standard deviation. So, the value where the z-score was negative one is really the answer, which is really this, 4.736.
So the answer is 4.736 inches. About 84% of women have a wrist circumference above 4.736 inches. Does that make sense? All right, so there's all these kinds of questions you can answer. One of the things, again, I'll show you in the next video is that we can actually calculate all these with just a computer program. So I'll, I'll show you how to do that next time. All right, so hopefully this was helpful. This is called the empirical rule. This is Matt show and Intro Stats, and I'll see you next time.